This is John Paul Rai. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan, and this here is an article from Nikki Swift called Celebs Who Can't Stand Marilyn Manson. Now before every video, I gotta throw out the claim that I'm open to accept Marilyn Manson did some abusing if proper evidence comes out. But I'm also seeing a lot of smear pieces against him, and I'm also seeing a lot of stories without factual evidence, such as one from The Sun, where they showed a picture of whiplashes on a piece of a back, which might not even have been the back of the person who was making the allegations. So I count that as a smear, and this I count as a smear also. Let's get into it. You guys might not know all these, I say celebs quote unquote, because they're not all celebs. Some of them are like really like B and C level rock stars. But that's what I want to point out, is that a lot of people are searching for things to say bad about Manson. Conveniently, at the time before Johnny Depp's trial, where Manson could have been a witness who could claim that Johnny is not a monster, that Amber Heard said he is, and the monster Amber Heard says Johnny is, is more like this sarcastic, grumpy guy that comes out, not this abusive, crazy monster, which, you know, seems like it makes sense to me. Okay, let's see what we got here. First one, Trent Reznor called Malin Manson a dopey clown. And I just gotta say right here that, you know, my father was in the rock and roll business his whole life. I've met a lot of rock stars throughout my time with my dad, some without my dad. But, you know, to name a few, Joan Jett, Didi Ramone, I'm sure a lot of you guys know the Ramones, Stephen Van Zandt, who was still on Sopranos, and I've been backstage behind the scenes quite a bit. Rock stars, you know, they get into little things with each other, little scuffles. They get angry about, you know, using lyrics like, did he take that from my song? Or, you know, did he take that from somebody else's song? Was that riff originally his? They get messed up a lot. They do a lot of drugs and drink a lot of alcohol. So they say things and, you know, they get into these little fights. So honestly, things rock stars say about Marilyn Manson, I think is a different, you know, kind of beast than what other celebrities say about him or people that know him throughout his life. But okay, Trent Reznor is a big enough name to, you know, count. Corey Feldman! <laughs> oh, we know about him. Corey Feldman was also abused by Charlie Sheen, right? Corey Feldman also has a lot of women coming out and saying that they were abused by Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman also got stabbed. So Corey Feldman, I'm sure all of us out there take with complete truth. Bad sarcasm on my part. Maybe, maybe not. You guys get the point. We don't really take this guy's opinion for much. I didn't hear about this thing. You know, I'm not going to get too deep into it. So someone ripped off someone's t-shirt. Whatever. So this is what I'm talking about. What I said before about rock stars getting into little, you know, arguments and scuffles and speculation about who ripped off who and that kind of thing. That happens all the time. So I don't think that, like, you know, Justin Bieber is like, mmm, Marilyn Manson, what a piece of shit. You know, that guy must have abused some women because, you know, this t-shirt thing we got into. So, yeah, alright. I mean, again, Justin Bieber, 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 not exactly sure. In Japan, they say Bieber, Bieber, Boober, whatever the hell it is. It doesn't matter so much. The point is, he's a big enough name where if he puts his opinion out there, it's going to get scrutinized. People are going to, you know, look into it. So, you know, I'll count that as something. Rob Zombie clashed with Marilyn Manson on tour. Okay. Well, like I said, Rob Zombie is a... I don't know exactly if he's, like, aggressive or fights or drinks, like, heavy or whatever, but he doesn't really look like the guy who's going to be like, hey, let's shake hands and go out for a beer and watch the football game and we'll just chill out and have an intellectual conversation. He probably has little scuffles with people and... I don't know much, I'll admit, it's speculation, but okay, Rob Zombie. I, I love his movies, by the way, but fine. Okay, here it is. Rob Zombie said Manson typically took to the stage 25 minutes late. Oh no. Oh no. He took to the stage 25 minutes late, guys. He's an abuser. Go get him. Eh. Courtney Love, who, <laughs> Courtney Love, who, uh, after Kurt Cobain died and people who didn't know him couldn't stop crying for weeks on end, released an album shortly after with songs Kurt wrote. Wow, Courtney, I'm going to take your word for everything you say. You're not money hungry. 
you're not a gold digger yourself. You must be a nice lady who had a very loving relationship with Kurt. Not that I know. I'm speculating. Just saying. If my wife died, who I loved, I would not release an album with her songs. So Courtney Love, I won't totally discredit because she did say some things about Weinstein that came out. A little bit of a whistleblower for that kind of thing. But all in all, she's a very sketchy character. And I would probably take Manson's word over hers any day. I, I, you could tell I just don't like her. I don't trust her. So, next. Marilyn Manson has a history with members of Limp Biscuit. Okay, Limp Biscuit. I'm sure not all of you guys know who they are. They were a moderately big band, I think back in the 90s, mid-90s, maybe up until 2000 or eh, somewhere around there. Alright, so he said something bad about their music. So what? Charlene Yi had a nasty experience with Marilyn Manson on set. Well, I mean, honestly, I don't know who she is, and I'm not going to judge a book by its cover. Although a lot of people are doing that with Marilyn Manson. Well, she doesn't look like the type who would actually get along with him so well and have this incredible encounter. And she says that she was on a sitcom, something like that, and she says Marilyn Manson harassed every woman on the set. Okay. Hey, take that if you want to take it for truth. That's what he said. He harassed every woman on the set. I guess nobody had nothing to say about it. Nobody stopped him. He just walked around and harassed every single woman he saw out in the open. Okay. Okay. Take that as you want. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Paul Stanley of Kiss called Marilyn Manson pathetic. Alright. Well, Kiss is a huge, huge band. I'm sure... Some of you guys must know KISS, and I don't know, I guess maybe when you're at that level, maybe, you know, you insult, and again, look, look at him, he's kind of like a more clean Marilyn Manson without the gore image, so maybe he thought Marilyn Manson was like ripping them off, you know, because Marilyn Manson's got kind of similar face paint and things, so, eh, who knows. And Esme Bianco wants to see Marilyn Manson in jail, she's the one I'm talking about, who teamed up with The Sun to write the article about Marilyn Manson, who showed the picture of the whip on her back, and there's no way to know it's him, and there's no way to know it's her back, but The Sun presents, presents, boop, 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 boop. The Sun presents it as fact. The Sun presents, that's what I was trying to say. I'll leave it in there. What the hell, maybe it was funny. I'm not trying to be funny, this is a serious thing. Well, it's more serious now I'm talking about her. It wasn't so serious with the rock star stuff. But anyway, my point is, did he abuse her? Hey, maybe he did. Maybe he did. But the article in The Sun she wrote about it was smear, whether the abuse is true or not. For example, we know that Amber Heard abused Johnny Depp. But you can write a smear article about Amber with the wrong facts, even though she is the abuser, if you get my drift. You can write an article about Amber Heard and omit some key points of evidence and put the evidence out in front that doesn't have proof within that article. So I'm not saying that he didn't abuse her, that could be proven, but I'm saying the article she wrote about him was a smear piece. Moby and Marilyn Manson traded verbal jabs. Who's Moby? I've heard of him. That's about as far as we go, and whatever. Phoebe Bridger stopped being a fan of Marilyn Manson as a teen, and I don't know who she is. Um, she was on Saturday Night Live. I wouldn't consider her a celebrity. Look, celebrity has a wide meaning. You can call anybody who has the potential to be famous a celebrity because they are in, you know, the entertainment business. But when you think of, like, celebrities, sometimes you think of well-known people. Tom Cruise, Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp. You know, even someone like Quentin Tarantino, a director but well-known, Oprah Winfrey, you know, these, you know, like snap of the finger household name is, I guess, one common definition for celebrity, and that this person's not, so see you next time. Jenna Jameson called the relationship with Marilyn Manson disturbing. Okay, she is, if you don't know her, and I, for better or for worse, do know who she is pretty well, actually. Um, she's in the Let's just say, romantic film business. <laughs> and, uh, 
she teamed up with the Daily Mail to get some information out that he liked to bite. Okay, I mean, a lot of these women are saying he liked to bite. I'm not disputing that a lot of the things these women say is false. What I'm thinking is that what they're saying is not totally in context. And it wasn't abuse, but it was rough sex. And looking back, like a decade later, they say it's abuse. However, it could be. It could be. But there's just not enough to go on yet to, you know, say this is it. We got you, Mellon Manson, right before the Virginia trial, so you can't testify for Johnny Depp. Ha! But of course, you know, that has nothing to do with it, does it? You guys, let me know what you think down below. Doing shout-outs, special thanks, Depp vs. Heard. Let's do some shout-outs. <laughs> Let's uh, say that better. Let's do some shout-outs. It's easier to correct what I say than to go back and cut and edit and make a mistake and let's just be honest. Rob's Rules, shout out to you. Tanya Campbell, who sent me this article, thank you. And shout out to Nexma, also known as Riddle, also known as Nexma Riddle, I think. So thank you for the support. And if you're not subscribed here, consider it. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Sometimes I talk fast, sometimes slow, depends on my mood. We're done.